Hello everyone, this is Gatling Geeks. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to reshade Escape from Tarkov in 2019 with the newest updated reshader. It's very simple and it will absolutely increase the enjoyability of playing a game as well as overall performance and visibility of engaging targets at long distance and determining targets in any type of background because of the color differentiation. So what you're going to want to do is first come over here and not show the music that you're cheaply recording and then you're going to come here and type in reshade me it's been around for a while very popular um, you don't want to click download save file come up here open it go to your C drive Battlestate games EFT Install the Escape from Tarkov EXE file. You should see it right there. OpenGL should be checked. And then you just click it. Overwrite if you have a prior copy installed. And it will replace all files and delete them. Would you like to download a collection of standard effects from GitHub? Absolutely, I would. So now there's a few you're going to want to choose. First, you want to uncheck all. First thing you want is Adaptive Sharpen. Second thing you want is Clarity. Then colorfulness. Then you want to come down to. You don't want vibrance. Vibrance is actually broken right now. Technicolor, and there's one more. I like. I personally like the night vision one. So I'm gonna click that. But right now I can't. I'm having a hard time seeing it because I don't have my glasses on. But let me try to find it real quick. Hold on. It's a uh, Luma Sharpen. There we go. Okay, cool. And night vision, just cause you, you can always choose whatever you want, but um, the more you download, the more it's gonna kill your processing when you start the game and launch it, cause it's gotta download all these reshaders and coordinate it with your EXE file. So here we go again. That's adaptive sharpen, clarity, colorfulness, luma sharpen, night vision for fun if you want and Technicolor, oops, sorry about that, Technicolor 2, there we go, okay, so now you're set, again, I'll do it one more time, I'll show you, okay, then you want to click OK, edit reshade, double check, everything, file coordination, cool, good, alright, so after that, it's all installed and you're ready to go, so you want to exit out of this and launch your game to see if this has worked it, should, it will immediately tell you up here you can already see all the shaders taking effect now a lot of people ask you this does this cause problems are you gonna get banned for using this no you'll be fine they're not gonna ban you for a reshade and honestly, the, they made a game that was visibly really appealing at the get-go. We would have no necessity to utilize such technology, would we? But the truth is, is that it's still in beta. So I have all the faith in them to put more graphical overhauls on this game. And maybe even subcontract reshade to utilize their system. Because it doesn't affect your FPS at all. I don't care what anyone says. My FPS maintains at 125 to 130 frames per second. And with a 60 hertz refresh rate. It will take a little longer to download. That is a disadvantage of using this. But now we're in. So next thing you want to do is come to your settings. Go to graphics. Set your resolution to your monitor. Set your aspect ratio to thin or 16 by 19 aspect ratio. V-Sync off. I highly advise setting it just the highs. So you're not going to need ultra. It's going to give you a severe performance hit. Texture quality high. Shadow low. LOD quality too. Overall visibility 2000, shadow quality 60, off, 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 per texture for anastropic filtering. FXAA is what you're going to want for most PCs. Um, I mean, you could you could pick that if you have a higher end gaming rig, but I, it's super aliasing, anti aliasing system sampling, and I, w I want you to make sure sharpness is at zero. That's critical. It will counteract the reshade sharpness and luma sharpen. You're gonna to want to stack those two because they help make it doubly as sharp. So off, 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 off. So now you're set. 
So in order to activate reshade, we'll see right in the menu the difference that it makes. This is what the game looks like vanilla. So we're going to go into vanilla. That's the game vanilla with no reshades whatsoever. So we're going to go to Escape from Tarkov now. We're going to go to Factory. Next, next, next. Enable offline mode. No PvE or any of that stuff. And we're going to go right to it. <coughs> now, a lot of people think that this is not a necessity. I think this is a necessity for this game. This game is not graphically optimized. Even though it looks pretty cool, it's not graphically optimized at all. This will definitely make you a better player. Oh, like, I'm telling you, it totally changed the way I played this game. Because now I can identify targets at longer distances. I can make sure that I can identify my team a lot clearer based upon the gear that I see him in at the beginning of the game. And this will truly make it some more pleasant game experience and visually appealing. Another thing too is that if you shoot someone at a distance, you will be able to determine the blood splatter off them being hit a lot clearer to make sure that where you're aiming is point of, aim, point of impact. So this is the game, Vanilla. Let's find a nice place to check out where there's a lot of different colors and shadows. So right here seems like a good spot. So we're going to come right here and we're going to get right to it. First of all, let me switch to my knife and get rid of it. Alright, there we go. Cool. Alright, so to open it, you're going to want to click the home button. So we're going to start adding them up. Luma Sharpener ready. Look right here. You can see the difference. You can see, you can determine um, depth of objects a lot better. Now, if you put Adaptive Sharpen on, it's even better. See what I mean? Without Luma Sharpen, though, it kind of looks a little bit duller. So these two in conjunction take over the sharpening feature. And the fact of the matter is, is that you're not using the sharpen feature on Tarkov. You're saving a whole bunch of frame rates because you have a separate program that is separate from the frames of Tarkov. That's why when people say, oh, this kills your frame rate, don't do it. Get full of it, honestly. It doesn't kill your frame rate at all because it's a separate program running separately from the game itself. It just is an overlay. So now we're going to put clarity, as you can see already, better. You see the distance, colorfulness. Holy shit, what a difference. And then you can use Technicolor to make it even better. Now that might be a little bit too loud for you guys. But honestly, I like it because if you can see up here in the distance, like let's say there was a guy in Skywalk right there, you'll be able to determine that he's in Skywalk a lot easier. This is just for fun. Uh, I wonder if you can use that at night to actually see at night. I'm going to have to actually test it out right after this. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's walk around and see the game, do comparisons. Was, and this is, I know it's offline and you're all going to give me hate for this, but I don't care. Hold on, let me do this right. Lowercase F P S space 1, enter. Right now I'm at 92 frames, so if I was to go to reshade and start taking stuff off, let's see if that affects the frame rate at all. So far actually a little bit, it actually affected the frame rate a little bit, I'm surprised. Alright, so let's reactivate it and see now. Okay, frame rate's not affected at all. No frame rate change. This is a good place to show light and in depth of field. Vanilla? That's very loud. I can understand. So now my my tip to you guys honestly is well the reason I like this is because like if there's a guy chilling in the shadows over here, over here, they're definitely gonna pop out a lot more. But the thing is is if you're using night vision goggles, do not use Technicolor. I would advise right before the game starts, you take it off. Because it will make the brightness of your night vision horrible. So let's just go ahead and take a better look around. And just get a better overall look. Look, no, no screen tearing, no nothing. But vibrant, beautiful colors, beautiful light abbreviations. Let's just, I'm going to be quiet now because that's about it for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Gatling Gigs, and follow my live stream, Gat1Gigs, on TwitchTV.com. We do Escape from Tarkov, Live Guitar, uh, Metro Exodus, Stalker, and a whole bunch of stuff.
All right, so I'm gonna disconnect real quick. And I'm gonna do an experimental part of the video. If that is all you came to see, then you're more than welcome to leave. I really appreciate the support to the channel. It's good to be back. It's just I've been at such a lack of content and I haven't mastered this game yet. Therefore, I'm not going to make a video on a game that I haven't mastered. But um, this is I love to do the modding series because honestly, what makes the game better? More mods. You get more you can do. I mean, look at this. I've never seen that much detail in the map before. It just goes to show you. So let's try Factory Nighttime real quick. This might be a bust. I don't know if this is going to work or not. This is just speculation. Um, so let's go offline mode ready ready I want to see if the night vision um, I don't think it will work because it doesn't conjuncturalize with the game but I want to see if the night vision overlay will actually give us night vision properties because if that does then that is kind of cheap and that should be looked at and that should not be utilized because that's kind of game breaking the fact that you don't have to wear a really expensive NVG you can just use an overlay in lieu of it early game it's gonna suck so if I go to the home and night vision yeah okay good so it's just an effect I still can't see shit all right people with that said um, ugh, that's disgusting now another thing too and uh, hold on let me shut the music off real quick to end the video on a better note all right so the another thing too about this is that any kind of overlay you put, you want to download from that reshader catch when you initially download it. It can be great for making YouTube videos, great for your live stream if you want to add extra effect like film grain and all that good stuff. Make it black and white for a video. It's definitely cool to do a direct input. All right, that is pretty much sums up the video. You have a great day.